Let's go through a couple of examples of what would happen if you changed amounts of salt or water in your body. So as a first example, let's say you eat an extremely salty meal. So the amount of salt in your extracellular fluid will go up. So what's gonna be the response to that? It's gonna be the usual response to a change in concentration. In order to bring the concentration back down, you're going to hold on to H2O. And you might drink some more water because you get thirsty. And so the result of that is that you are going to have an increase in volume. And now you have a normal sodium concentration but a greater volume, extracellular volume. So the other arm of the kidney is gonna kick in and try to lower your volume by excreting sodium. And excreting sodium allows you to excrete H2O with it as well. And so this brings you back to normal. You gain sodium, which causes you to hold on to water, and then you got rid of that sodium and that water. Now what about if instead of eating a very salt-heavy meal, you drank a liter of water, let's say, or more. Let's say you drank two liters of water. So now you've increased the amount of water in your body, which immediately just by dilution is gonna cause a decrease in sodium concentration. But that water also, transiently at least, is going to cause an increase in your extracellular volume. So now what's gonna happen? We have actually both arms of the kidney are gonna get activated here, right? Because one senses concentration changes, the other senses volume changes. But what's gonna happen is that the one that senses concentration changes is gonna act first because we said that one is more sensitive and more rapid. So this is not gonna stimulate anything yet, but the drop in concentration is gonna cause you to excrete water so that you'll increase your sodium concentration back to normal. So that brings the sodium concentration back to normal. And at the same time, you've gotten rid of water, which is going to decrease your extracellular volume, which was increased to begin with, so actually it's gonna bring your extracellular volume back to normal. So in this case, we see that if you drink a bunch of water, the result is very quickly, you're just gonna excrete that same water back and get back to the same original situation you were in. Now this correction, as we said, happens very quickly, whereas the correction here happened more slowly. So therefore, eating a bunch of salt actually ended up increasing your volume more than drinking water. This is sometimes why people might say that salt is volume. And one of the side effects of this is that eating salt will actually raise your blood pressure more than drinking water. And this is why people who have high blood pressure are told not to eat too much salt. They're not told to avoid water because if they do drink some water, they'll very quickly get rid of it. But if they eat some salt, it's gonna cause them to hang on to water and it'll be slower to get rid of that salt and water. So now as one last example, Instead of talking about just salt or just water, let's think about what happens when this person either drinks or gets an infusion of isotonic fluid. So isotonic fluid has the same concentration as your extracellular volume, so it's not gonna change the concentration of the solutes, but what it will do is increase your extracellular volume. So therefore, the concentration arm of the kidney is not activated. It's only the slower volume sensing arm, which in order to counteract this increase in volume is going to excrete salt and with it some water. 